Hey everybody, it's Mac here with Range Day and welcome back to the channel for another video. Today we are going to be doing a comparison of handguns with and without red dots on them. At any time, if you like this video, please leave us a thumbs up. It helps us more than you could imagine. And if you have any questions or comments about what you see through the video, if you're worried you're gonna forget it by the end, go ahead and drop those in the comment section below and we will get back to you. If you're gonna check out any other video on the channel or you have already and you've enjoyed it so far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with us and click the bell icon and everything so you can be alerted when we drop new videos. And before we get any further into the video, these handguns here are unloaded. So we are going to get right on into it and we're going to give some pros and cons of both handguns without red dots and handguns with red dots. So, so for your classic handgun with just iron sights, let's talk about some of the pros about it. Hey, First by. of all, it's dependable. It is a very simple setup that I'm not saying won't fail because trust me, I know some of you guys out there can make iron sights fail. They are two pieces of metal, sometimes with some night sights on it, or sometimes some fiber optic, which that could be a whole nother discussion, but most of the time those have some metal reinforcements around the edge. But for the most part, these are simple, effective, and fail-proof. Iron sights can be quick. Chances are, if you grew up shooting handguns or you're just getting into shooting handguns, this is what you are most familiar with. Usually what you're used to means muscle memory, and that can lead to quicker target acquisition, quicker rounds, and just a better follow through overall. And as another pro, it's cheaper. Which I know that may be obvious, but a lot of these red dots, unless you get a cheapo one, it's going to be about $300. So straight iron sights, they're just cheaper. They're more budget friendly and they're more affordable. All right, and now let's talk about the cons. And I'm gonna be honest, I could really only come up with two cons because it's simple. It's proven it's effective. Iron sights are great. I mean, yeah, they're simple, but they're great. Number one, you have less of a sight window when aiming down sights. And that's just because the iron sights sit lower to the slide. When you have a red dot, you just have a dot and it's light and you have a glass. And so you can see above and below your target. But with iron sights, uh, depending on what you're aiming at, let's just say you have half the sight window. And I know that's not 100% correct, but you're going to be cutting off your target when you're aiming down sights. Iron sights can struggle at range. I'm not saying you can't make those shots. You can train through pretty much anything, but at range with the same shooter, if you give them a red dot, they're going to be able to hit targets further with a red dot on a handgun as compared to if they just had iron sights. Cons for iron sights and just iron sights, it's really all I could come up with because they are just they're simple. There's not a whole lot that can go wrong with them. So that's it for the iron sights. Let's go ahead and talk about the red dot. So moving on to the red dots, some of the pros. Number one, I kind of hinted at it when talking about the iron sights, but you have more of a sight window. You have glass and a single dot in the middle, which allows you to see point of aim and what's below it and above it. With iron sights, it cuts off what's below it. You have more accuracy at range with a red dot because of it's a more precise point of impact. You can see more of the target and you can see around the target better. That just sets you up for being able to take those further shots because you can see what you're aiming at. Another thing that red dots do to help you take those longer range shots, it gives you an awareness to your trigger pull. Handgun marksmanship, especially to new shooters, can be challenging because you're not aware of just how much your trigger pull, your grip, how much you move the handgun affects your point of impact. With a rifle, it's easier to tell because you have a longer sight axis. If you pull that front sight off, you can tell and recorrect because you have a longer sight axis. 
If you have a handgun, it is still difficult to tell just how much your point of impact is going to shift when you pull the trigger because you could have a bad trigger pull. With a red dot, you immediately see when you start to pull the trigger where your point of aim is going. It will, you will see it either start to pull down and left, down and right, to the side, depending on a whole bunch of reasons. It could be your grip, it could be your trigger pull, but that red dot and having that capability will give you an idea of how to become a better marksman because you can correct your grip, your trigger pull, and all the fundamentals of handgun shooting. <laughs> there are some cons with red dots, and so let's go ahead and get into those. It's more money. I hinted at it in the iron sights comparison, but it's just more expensive. This is an affordable one, and I've already done the review on this. This is a Romeo One Pro, and this was a $330 red dot for me, and they've gone up in price since. It's a great red dot, but this would be more affordable compared to some of the others. Hollow Sun, that is also a good budget and dependable red dot for a handgun. We've reviewed those on the channel as well, but it's still, you're adding more money to your setup and you're adding weight to your setup, especially if you're thinking about doing a red dot for an everyday carry. Even though you're adding just a tiny bit more, more weight is noticeable throughout the day and you'll be able to tell that. And for another con, red dots are more complex than iron sights. And you may be asking, how is that a con? But think about this. When we get to complexity with things like handguns and sights, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's more to keep up with. There are more things that can fail in a red dot than iron sights. It's just a proven fact. If you do have a failure in your red dot, it's probably gonna be the battery. You gotta keep up with battery life. You gotta keep up with all sorts of things. You can get water in, especially with an open emitter style red dot here where the laser is uncovered, you can get water in it. You can get sand in it. Most of the time, I get dust in my red dot and I have to clean it out every other day, every three days, because if you aim down and you have dust all over your glass, it's going to starburst and your point of aim is not nearly as precise as what it would be with a clean lens. It's just another thing to think about. You can have it break, you can have the glass shatter, and I know what you're thinking, well, Mac, that's why you have backup iron sights. But there will be a delay by the time you pull your red dot up, something's wrong. Then you have to make a cognitive decision to switch from your red dot to your iron sights. And that, of course, you can train through it and you can make that decision in a split second when it comes to it. But it, again, is more time compared to iron sights. Another con, it does lead to more training. Going from training with iron sights to training with a red dot, it is a completely different feel when you're going to aim. You feel like you're aiming really high, or you feel like your aim is off compared to if you're aiming with an iron sights. It's just so different. Having a red dot can be incredible, and that's why I carry one on my everyday carry setup. However, it takes a while to get there to where you feel comfortable with wanting to carry a red dot on your handgun. More training isn't necessarily a bad thing, and if you are going to be putting a red dot onto your handgun, you need to train with it. Again, with everything here, it can come down to just training more, training more efficient. So getting a red dot leads to more training. I've given you a few pros and cons, but tell me, what do you think about it? Whether you are Red Dot Gang or Iron Sight Gang, it doesn't matter. It's personal preference at the end of the day, and it's what you feel comfortable with, and it's what you train with. I can't stress that anymore. Thank you for watching the video again. If you like this, please leave us a thumbs up. And if you had a comment, especially what you thought about whether you prefer Red Dots or Iron Sights, please, Leave that in the comment section below and we will get back to you. If you like this video and the other videos we have on the channel and you want to keep up with us, hit that subscribe button, click the bell, select the preference that works best for you. You know the drill by now. This has been Mac with Range Day, where every day is Range Day. Thank you for watching. Like I said, you don't like the weather. You wait five minutes and you'll hate it even more. It's, um, it's actually sleeting or icing now or something it's a blizzard